is very, very true indeed that many times what prevents you from knowing is what you used to know. And sometimes to be able to climb the learning curve, you need to climb the forgetting curve. What you knew yesterday can prevent you from knowing what you should know tomorrow. So many of these people are carrying what they knew from yesterday and they are unable to do anything. Any generation that fails to be able to make its shoulders available to the next is a failed generation. And part of the challenge of being in Nigeria today is that we have a generation that is now in its 60s and 70s who took power in Nigeria as 20 something year olds and enjoyed the fruits of their generation and took away that of the generation following them. What happened in 10 years in America? The youth of America had responded to the American challenge and boys and girls between age 19 and 25 carried out a revolution that we have come to know as the Information and Communications Technology Revolution and brought back America's competitiveness. The youth of America saved America. Nothing happens unless you dare. Many times people who may even have a sense of service, may have knowledge, don't have courage of conviction. So because they can't dare to be different, they believe in something that others will say, no, 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 that's not what they say, hey, okay, sorry. Most of the things that we consider routine today used to be thought of as impossible. But because leaders emerged, life got so transformed that yesterday's impossible to this routine. Mm. Kobe, author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, say that there are two dimensions that must be present, not one or the other. Two. Two of them must be present for leadership to take place. One is knowledge. If you don't know, you cannot lead. Second is a sense of service. If you know, it enables you to see tomorrow. Because you know something that others don't know, so you say that is possible. If you care about people, you have a sense of service towards others, then you will take their interest into account in acting. Hmm. It is in taking their interest into account and they are knowing that you take interest into account and makes them willingly yield. Leadership is other centered behavior, not self centered behavior. Hmm? The problem with leadership in Nigeria is that it's about me, myself, and I. 